Hey guys, Alex from 7th Hour Films back again with Mob Psycho 100. Last time around we had poor, lonely Whitey. Where basically uh, there was uh, a bit of a uh, fight between uh, Reagan and Mob. Where uh, Mob was like, hey, you gotta stop just calling me out, you know, uh, at terrible times, you know. I'm trying to hang out with friends and there's something on my phone. There we go. Um, and Reagan was like... You don't have friends. You're not going to have friends. Your friends suck if they do. And yeah, you're socially adept and you're not going to have friends. And he was like, oh, I shouldn't have fucking said that. I'm sorry, man. But uh, but at the same time, they, they did have a falling out. And basically, Reagan has spiraled out of control. And he is now currently appearing on a news... Uh, or not news, I guess just a uh, daytime television show... And, uh, Jodo, the, uh, the old psychic from, uh, the other episode, uh, is also there and he's going to expose Reagan as a fraud on live television. And, yeah. Things are not looking well for our Chad, uh, mainly because he's not being a Chad right now, so, yeah. Anywho, like always, the reaction is down in the description and in the pinned comment for your viewing pleasure. So let's go ahead and jump right into this episode of Mob Psycho 100. Here we go. Well, if nobody minds, I think I'm just going to go cry. Uh, Jim and Nee, man. Man, so throughout all of season one, when I kept speculating about Reagan's backstory, you were all laughing, weren't you? You laughed, knowing the truth. The truth about Reagan, that he's a good guy that stumbled into something. He wanted to be something. And the thing he is... He's a good guy. I mean, that's the thing, is even with, you know... Even with knowing now, it's like, you know... For a year, he played the part of a psychic, you know? And then once he actually found a kid with psychic powers... I mean, yes, you can say, well, he used him. Technically, yes, but... He did teach him genuine good things, you know? Like, what he taught him was good. Even just that throwaway thing he said at the beginning, you know? Just because you have powers doesn't make you any less human. Which, to him, he was saying that as, you know, like, oh, well... Like, he was trying to get rid of this whole, you know imaginary world that he thought Mob lived in, you know? But instead, it... It genuinely helped Mob, you know? It helped him. It made him the good boy he is today, you know? And he immediately recognized, you know, the power and the responsibility, you know? And taught him, you know, you can't use these powers on people, you know? Because that's the thing, with everything that he taught him, it's like, that's not, you know, an average con man would be like, ah, fuck it, you know, whatever gets us the most money, but he played the part and became a Chad. It's not something that you, that is just natural. It's not something that's just natural, it's something you have to work at, being a Chad. <laughs> Forget that part, maybe. Whatever. We've talked about Chad Reagan this whole time, this whole show, basically. But, but I mean, even still, like, that's that's it. It's like, you know, it's something you have to work at. Being kind is something you have to work at. Being good, it's something you have to work at. It's so fucking easy to be a dick. It's so fucking easy to be a horrible person. You know? But to be good, you have to work at that. And he does. He had a little fall. He had a little fall. But he's back on his feet. He's back with his friends. And he's gonna 
continue to be the Reagan he always he was always meant to be, you know? And Johto can go fuck himself. The the press can go fuck themselves. Everybody on Twitter, back when this was Twitter, before it was called X, they can go fuck themselves. Elon Musk can go fuck himself, just just on the topic of X. Social media can go fuck itself. I know I'm saying that on YouTube, but fuck it. Just fuck this. I mean, look, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that what we do on the internet is good, you know? Like, Jiminy Christmas, man, just yesterday, all I had to do was look at X. Twitter. Let's call it Twitter. All I had to do was look... I looked at Twitter once, saw that there was some fucking drama happening, and I just... And it was, like, right before I went to bed, too, which... No more of that. Which, I'm kind of glad actually, that Elon changed uh, Twitter to X, because as soon as it became X on my phone, I deleted the app and installed it. Fuck that. Now, granted, yes, I do still have YouTube and I do, I do still have Instagram on my phone. Those are a bit, a bit different, you know? Those, like, if you want, if you want to see drama, you have to, like, actively search for it on those, you know? A little easier on YouTube, way harder on Instagram to find drama, I feel like, you know? So, so I'm kind of happy that it's like, that I'm basically, I'm free, you know? Because I don't want to give in to his bullshit, I'm, I'm out of there. Now, I do still have my Twitter account, but fuck it. I, I only have it on desktop now, and, and now... After seeing some, you know, random drama start up in my timeline, I'm just like, alright, fuck this. You know? I haven't even really checked it today. That's really nice. But that's the thing. I mean, look at fucking Johto. Dickwad. Like, yes. Reagan doesn't have psychic powers. He's not a psychic. But he's not a dick. I mean, yeah, he had a bad moment with Mob, but it's a moment that he pretty much immediately regretted, you know? And yeah, he spiraled, but... But at the same time, you know? But then just the fact that on a daytime television show, on what is basically the equivalent of Dr. Phil, Reagan was publicly humiliated, and... Everyone on TV and on the internet just went after him to the point where he couldn't even go home without reporters being there. Fuck off. Just like, just fuck off. You don't know him. You don't know anything about him. You know, you're pulling up some school records, but you don't fucking know him. You know? And he was right. I I really like the way he handled that press conference, honestly. Which, honestly, he just told the truth. Like, he didn't cater to them. You know, he didn't cater to the media. He just told the truth, you know? It's like, oh, well, these people have, have alleged that, you know, that they're victims. And he just said, self-proclaimed victims. And they're like, what? And it's like, there's no proof. You have no proof that I, you know, scam them, you know? And yeah, some of them, some of them, they went in to a psychic, to a psychic's office with a bad shoulder. He gave them a massage. They left happy. He did his job. He helped you with your issue. Does that mean he's actually a psychic? No, but that's not the point. The point is he helped you with your issue. And on cases where there was a problem. On cases where there was a problem. He had mob. He had mob. So it still worked. But yeah, but this whole thing with Johto, like... Oh, well, only a real psychic would know. You know? It's like, yeah, Reagan knew he was an actor. 
He's playing it up for the camera. That's the whole goddamn point of daytime television. Just like, fuck these people. You know? Fuck them. And, and honestly, fuck them. And I know there's a lot of good people out there. I know there's a lot of good people out there. But I have, especially in the past year, I have gotten so jaded towards the internet. And I'm just like, man, fuck all of this, you know? Just want to watch some fun YouTube con content, you know? Just some good shit, you know? And that's why, I like, the people I subscribe to, I'm very picky about who I subscribe to on YouTube, you know? Granted, I, I subscribe to a lot of people, but, like, I don't want to watch... I don't want to watch drama shit. I don't want to watch that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do any of this. Just fuck. Fuck people on the internet. Reagan is a good guy. You don't fucking know him. You know? I mean, it literally is that Johto was trying to get Reagan canceled. And here's fucking cancel cancel culture. I, I, I cannot tell you how hard... For some reason... I guess I'm fucking tired. I don't know. But saying cancel culture... I am fighting not to say cancer culture, you know? But Jesus Christ. And and look, there are some people that are genuinely bad, and should they get canceled? Probably. But you tried to cancel a man over an appearance on Japanese Dr. Phil. You know? Fuck off. Like, even when it would cut to that fucking slob... This fat motherfucker downing chips in his gross-ass room, you know? Now, I know I'm a portly gentleman, you know? It's the pot calling the kettle a fat piece of shit. But still, I keep my room fucking clean. <laughs> I keep my room pretty fucking clean, you know? Some corners notwithstanding, you know? Like, it's hard to find some storage space, but otherwise it's a pretty... I don't have fucking laundry everywhere. Jesus Christ. I'm not sitting here downing chips and be like, oh, fuck this guy. I'm not fucking Mr. Plinkett or some shit, you know? I just, uh... Fuck those people. Fuck Johto. Fuck. Reagan's a good guy. Even if, yeah, he was... He's not a psychic. He's just not a psychic, and he never was. He chose this business on a whim, you know? Throw out everything I'd been saying, where I was like, oh, maybe he used to be a psychic, and he lost his powers, and this is why. It's like, no. No. No, he just... He's just a good guy who knew exactly the right things to tell Mob, you know? He knew exactly the right things to teach Mob, you know? I don't know. He's a good man. He's a good man, that Reagan Arataka. Ugh, fuck. That was a lot. Yeah, uh, that was... That, that was heavy. I mean, it's a thing of, like, you know, he kind of needed to be knocked down so that he would... He would come around and, you know, everything would be fine with him and Mob, but... Fuck, that was a low point to go to, man. But he's out of it now. Everything's good. Everything's good where it matters. His relationship with Mob, you know? So where are we going now? <laughs> I have no idea. That's another... I mean, that's another story arc in the book. I have no idea where we're... We've got a new story next episode then. So, got pretty sure at least. But I'm curious to see... With all that being said, I'm Alex from 7th Hour Films, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. There's a bunch of links on screen if you want to go click around any of those. There's a playlist with all of my Mob Psycho 100 reactions, as well as another video you can go click on if you want. There's also a subscribe button and a Patreon button on screen, as well as other links in the description if you want to go check out any of those. See you guys later.